Hi there, it is Motions Biz again, and I'm here today to be sharing with you some ideas again with Navy Federal. And I know I've been talking a lot about Navy Federal because I have another experience to share, and it is about the Navy Federal Direct Deposit and why it is a great Navy Federal Profile Booster, booster. with Navy Federal. And in fact, it is a great booster also for Navy Federal's internal credit score. And the reason being is that it's very simple. Navy Federal is a credit union. And of course, a credit union is founded by its members trying to pull their resources together to be able to lend to one another. And if you check the history of Navy Federal, this is exactly what happened. Well, remember, that it started with only seven members. I mean, can you imagine how the initiative of this Navy service personnel actually blossomed into something that is now Navy Federal Credit Union? Now, it started with only seven members. It is because of their initiative. They pulled their funds together, all seven of them. And now lately, it is said that Navy Federal is saying that it is already 12 million members strong. Can you imagine? Just last year, I was checking the data and statistics and it was only over 10 million members. So every year it's growing. It's been only a few months, but the growth is exponential. And this is the power and the strength of combined resources. And that is why Navy Federal right now exists, okay? It is because can you imagine all 12 million members putting their funds, pooling resources together? And that is the reason why Navy Federal can give very generous line of credits, very generous loans, mortgages, and all this. And it is very well managed. Now, based on the premise of how Navy Federal Credit Union exists, you can just imagine the relevance of direct deposits on your account with Navy Federal. And that is the reason why your direct deposit will count so much with building a relationship with Navy Federal because number one, it is not only funds that they can lend out to other members, but at the same time, it shows your ability to be able to handle and manage and repay a loan if ever they give you credit, a line of credit, or any kind of loans and other loan products. And that is also the reason why Navy Federal is very generous to members who actually invest in CDs, invest in their uh, money market, and all the other products, all the other investment products that they have. And Navy Federal loves that, okay? And there is, and that's the reason why it is very generous in awarding uh, a very generous lines of credit and loan products to these individuals who have also invested in Navy Federal. And a direct deposit is very simple. Now, with Navy Federal, it does not even have to be large deposits. What you need is consistency. It doesn't matter if it's only a few dollars because Navy Federal understands that it has members that are young adults that are just starting with their journey in life. And if you can show, especially that even with a little salary or a little uh, a pay that you get from work, from gigs, and you deposit it regularly, and Navy Federal can see that, that will count as a very positive thing on your profile and your relationship building with them. And this is why you will also notice with Navy Federal when you apply for a credit card, a personal loan, they would always ask for your employer, okay? They would also they would always ask that and ask how much you make. And this happens when you apply for a credit card or personal loans or even credit limit increases. They would always want to know that. But remember, they can also actually look into your account and see if there is money coming in. It's just the way credit unions work. And having said that, I still could not understand why many Navy Federal Credit Union members do not take advantage of doing direct deposit with Navy Federal to boost their internal credit score. 
and they wonder why when it's uh, when it's time to apply for a credit lim uh, for a credit card to apply for a personal loan that they get denied or they get very low limits okay so increase your chances by doing direct deposits and i will share a story with you that happened just recently during hurricane ian so as you know there was not much to do during the hurricane okay and my son who lives in tampa actually evacuated to my place uh, with his fiance and their two pet dogs so it was quite, it was quite a, a party going on in the house but of course there was nothing else to do we discussed things and i was like okay what is going on with your navy federal credit union accounts because i did share my uh my membership with my son and my daughter so apparently my son did place his pay on direct deposit with navy federal okay so that's what he did and he said he started in january or or february i think of this year so he has been doing that now the fiance who is also a member of navy federal actually did not place her pay on direct deposit. She was banking with TD Bank. And together, I told them, okay, go ahead and do a pre-qualification with Navy Federal for the credit cards because no one, uh, none of them have the Navy Federal credit cards yet. And I just kind of forgot to remind them about it. So they did, they did the pre-qualification three times because you know how it works with maybe federal pre-qualification sometimes. Sometimes, hopefully, there would be a glitch and some people get approved uh, on the first time and then the second time. And then when they went for the credit card application, they get denied. So the pre-qualification is another bone of contention among members because others are saying that it is not accurate. And, you know, there's a lot of stories with that, which I will discuss another time. However, that's what they did three times. Okay, my son does not have the greatest of credit scores, okay? So he was at a 587 credit score. So we really need to work on that. But you know, he's, he's the man, he's very independent. And sometimes whatever mom says is kind of, you know, just maybe, okay, it's just mom, you know. But his fiance actually has a 687 credit score. So she had a better credit score. They both have jobs. But then the fiance who is with Navy Federal, she has a checking and a savings account, just like my son. The only difference they have is that my son was doing direct deposit. She was not. So guess what happened when it came to application or applying for the credit cards? My son got approved for the cash rewards credit card for $4,800. And the fiance was denied even for an N rewards secured credit card. So what can I say? We did this three times to make sure that it's not a glitch, but that is exactly what happened. So can you just imagine what happened sometimes with different credit scores and the only difference was that one was doing direct deposit with navy federal okay they both don't have high limit credit cards but the fiance actually has i think about a five thousand dollar credit limit with a different bank i think it is with td bank so but she was not approved for navy federal and we did the pre-qualification three times and that is exactly what came. My son got approved for the cash rewards. Of course, I told him to go for the cash rewards. And the fiancé uh, also did the same thing, but did not even qualify for an end rewards secured credit card. So that really made me think. And that is why I wanted to share that here with you. I am aware that there are always new members coming into Navy Federal and does not take advantage and does not invest in doing direct deposit with Navy Federal, not knowing that it can very much count to building a relationship with Navy Federal and it can affect, it will have an impact 
later on on how your profile will look with Navy Federal. Now, of course, there are other factors out there that can actually boost your profile with Navy Federal. And that's many, okay, that I have discussed in a lot of my videos. However, direct deposit, I think, is something that people and new members should look at once you become a member of Navy Federal. And if you have been a member with Navy Federal for such a long time and have not considered doing your direct deposit with Navy Federal, maybe it's about time that you really look into it and just invest in it. And another thing is that you don't have to put all your paycheck or all that amount in or with Navy Federal. You can actually leave that with another bank if you prefer to do so, especially if, let's say, you have um, a lot of payments on that bank because it did happen with me initially that I, uh, I'm still banking with uh, quite a few banks, but what I did was with my direct deposit, with my own direct deposit, with me paying myself as a clinical administrator for my business, I had to divide that in three, okay, three different places. So I have direct deposit in all of them. So I know that it is something that you may have overlooked or some members may not really have considered doing that, but please think about it because it is such a practical approach and it is something that is just, I would say, innate, you know, with credit unions. The more you invest with them, the more you have funds with them, the more that you contribute and you actually do your duty in kind of working with a credit union so it can perform what it's supposed to do, okay? And because that's the concept of credit unions, that is why it's called a credit union and its members are the one who actually keep it going. Again, I hope I was able to provide you with another perspective or another idea on how to deal with Navy Federal to really build your profile with them. Okay. So again, thank you so much. We survived Hurricane Ian in Orlando. Thank you so much for following this channel. I really appreciate you for being here and let me know what your ideas are about direct deposit, your experience with Navy Federal. As far as direct deposit, I would appreciate it very much. Again, have a wonderful day. I will see you next time.